What is the motivation when it comes to creating and pursuing a new idea? Personally, when I have a new idea, the more novel typically means how long it will remain interesting. So what is the promise of a fulfilled idea? It's something I've often considered, and as cliche as it sounds, it's typically the journey that is more rewarding than the ending. My idea was to build something novel, a remote controlled boat that would be able to travel over a long distance, recording video and sending back its position, and maybe just maybe capture the imagination of someone like-minded. My initial plan was simple. I want to create a long distance first person boat. I need a way to mount the electronics with easy access and also look cool. So I utilized some existing designs from Thingiverse and modified them for mounting to my own design. Mounting the camera on an extended mast was done by chopping down a cross-country ski pole and designing my own mount to internally pass through the required servo and VTX wires. I designed a hatch and tray in Fusion 360 that had multiple 30 by 30 mounting points. And the idea with this was to be able to reuse them at a later point without diminishing the print. The tray slides in and out of the hatch design and the long extended mast servo and VTX wires run on the underside so that I can access the under battery tray. I used old FPV drone components that would be much too antiquated for a modern build. Maytech power distribution board and several breakout, two 35 amp 32 bit ESCs, and an old F4 processor VTX all in one flight controller. Most importantly for the range, I used an old Crossfire receiver, though this would probably be an Express LRS receiver if I wasn't trying to be cheap. I formal coded everything with MG Chemicals 422 in case the boat leaked. I made a test rig to test the idea behind the gibbel with the VTX and how it would look for the mast. The boat was nearing completion and I was getting close to testing it for the very first time. So I cut out a polycarbon hatch cover, used M3 screws and foam insulation tape for a seal. I made a standoff for the crossfire antenna on the front of the boat and I fashioned a servo horn control with help of the local hobby shop. And then it was finally time to test it one cold winter morning. Works perfectly. And I'm not giving it like any throttle.
enjoyed some part of this video and maybe found it interesting. Most of this video I talked about things in retrospect because in reality I took way longer to do this than I expected. I still didn't do it to what I wanted and I think I'll continue working on it and perhaps provide a follow up at some point. So give me a thumbs up if you at least thought this was interesting and hope to see you again.